Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and uh, just a quick video here to show you how to set up your Android Wear smartwatch with your phone. Uh, you have to pair it via, via Bluetooth. Now, whatever watch you get, um, the setup process should be the same. The only difference will be uh, maybe if there's a power button or not. Now, this is the G Watch 2. Uh, looks a little different with the uh, different um, band that I have, uh, but um, the uh, this, this one doesn't have a power button on it so the only way obviously coming out of the box it's not going to be powered on so the only way to turn it on is to connect it to the charger like I said some other watches might have a power button so I have the uh, charging uh, base here and it's plugged in micro USB and you line up the pins put it on there um, and uh, it'll power on and boot up and once you connect it you can actually remove it from the charger um, or you can leave it on there depending on how much battery you have um, so we'll go ahead and remove that we'll go through the boot up procedure here and it only takes a few seconds and right away it's asking us if uh, want the uh, English language and we're going to go ahead and say yes now it's saying install the Android Wear on your phone I've already have it um, you'll need the latest play services which is 5.0 um, and so I have the Android Wear and of course you can find it in your app drawer as well so we'll go ahead and tap on it and uh, basically uh, so let's get you set up that's the thing there and then you get this little bit of information here you can go ahead and hit accept and then choose a device um, interestingly enough you'll see a non Android Wear device gear 2 the Gear 2 was set up with this phone, uh, and another phone it actually said SmartWatch 2 from Sony, which is also not an Android Wear watch. I didn't go through and see what would happen by selecting that, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and check the G Watches, which is the watch that we have here. And now it's going to try to pair with it, and then you're going to get a code, and you want to make sure the code matches. I've never seen a Bluetooth pairing where the code isn't the same, so we're going to go ahead and hit OK and OK and it should pair up and it may for you also download software to the watch uh, for the first time since I reset the device I think the firmware is already was updated uh, so you might see a long process where it goes around in a circle um, that happened to me when I first set up this watch uh, so it's a little quicker right now um, and then of course when you get on it's going to um, basically go through uh, the different uh, things here information cards and we have another video that we're going to explain everything about how Android Wear works but these cards are basically explaining that you can get more information or swipe away to get rid of stuff um, and then uh, you know the weather and then you can get more information on the weather if you flick over to the right and batteries you can see my battery is kind of low at 15 percent and uh, you know your steps and just those are different examples so you want to go over back to the phone though and you want to uh, give it to notification access you want to make sure that you check on Android Wear uh, so notifications will hit the device then hit the back key and then um, basically it's some more examples there again and you say you're all done and then you go in here and again we're going to show more of this in another video but you can set up different apps for different things and right now there isn't that many apps in the app store or the play store um, so to set up and then um, even browse compatible apps there's going to be nothing in there um, uh, let's see right now it's pretty much empty so um, that's pretty much it. That's the setup and the watch is ready to go. We'll show you how to change watch faces too in the other video as well. So that's setting up your Android Wear smartwatch with your phone and uh, I hope this helps. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.